Hi friends, I'm Jess. Welcome to the Tax Library where I post reading, writing, and planner related content a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. Today we're going to be doing my planner for the month of September. So today we're actually going to go over um, July and August because I did not do an August plan with me video and then we'll quickly go over my setup for September as well. Um, you've seen July, you know what it looks like. Um, I did actually do a video for July but this is just so you can see how much of it I actually used. The world may never know. Um, I definitely have been utilizing this style of layout however it will be changing in August. I have really liked this style but I'm a little bored with it. I have been using it since April. Uh, it does really work for me so I'm very happy with, with this style and knowing that I have this as a style that I can go to that works for me. Um, I didn't do great with my um, words for July as you can tell and but I did do some good reading in July. Um, I read a good amount of books, I filled in a lot of things, did pretty well on these. I did end up in July also adding in the 30 hour write-a-thon which, which is a write-a-thon that Anne and Celeste do. So I have that in here and then also Michael's uh, writer town Garliosa. Garlosia. I get it wrong every time. Um, they also had that planned that weekend so this is a new page as well. Um, and then Anne and I also did a Capture the Words weekend during July as well, which was a really fun time. Um, we'll definitely be doing that again in the future. And so I did a spread for that as well, just for me to kind of keep track of the words that I got. Um, I definitely, I, I can't remember what happened on Garlosia weekend, but I ended up not being able to participate at all. Um, but I did okay during the 30 hour write-a-thon and I did really good during capture the words. I did over 5,000 words. So that was really good. As I talked about in my journaling video for July, I did end up doing like my reading thoughts and just doing a little bit about all of the books that I read. Um, some more than others because some I had more things to talk about. Um, this is kind of where I go through like my uh, spoiler thoughts, um, things that I don't feel comfortable uh, talking about in reviews because I want reviews to be accessible for everybody whether they have read the book or not. I had a lot of thoughts about The Only One Left and The Memory Police. Um, Will of Ascension was in here as well. That was the last book that I read of the month but um, I also left a blank page before we got to August. Now August, when we get to the back of August, there is no extra page. Like there I didn't end up doing um, this for August mainly because I'm doing a readathon that literally has me reading so many books that I don't know that I would have had the time to do this. Um, it's been a it's been a fun ride. Uh, so August we had um, our local county fair week. I had a vacation with Julian Amber and then originally the troublemakers were doing a vacation week this week um, which they ended up not doing. I don't know what they're doing because no one tells me anything but essentially I put it in here so I would know that like those were the days that I was going to bother them the most. Um, today is the 27th. I'm currently sprinting with Brianna on her channel um, and I'll probably be sprinting with Julian Amber tonight if they do sprints tonight. So it's here. There's a lot. Because in August we were doing the amazing readathon, I did my Windows of the World uh, stickers and then did a little bit of like just things from everywhere from some stickers that I had. Again did these same monthly layouts that I've been doing. Uh, this week is the week that I went to um, Julian Amber's was actually right here. I think I left on Friday. No. This week. There we go. Uh, this week I left on Friday so I did more of like a what I did kind of like a memory keeping kind of thing here. And then this week which is the week that we're on because this is this Sunday. I got sick on Monday evening and then um, missed work on Wednesday drove home on Tuesday and just had an entirely rough time. Um, and so next week I actually still haven't set up yet. Uh, that will be doing what I'm done here. Also um, just my like list of packing and all that stuff. I originally had planned to do like a two page spread for this. That didn't happen. Reading planner. Um, I went with the same layout. Reading planner. Reading planner. Books read. Again I've done a lot this month. 
uh, the final book support group, which I ended up not really participating in anything for, um, but I did actually hit all of the prompts with my books for the Amazing Readathon. And then for the Amazing Readathon, um, I actually done like the different locations. Uh, at some point, I stopped writing location number or whatever and started writing in the actual town that we're in. Um, I used some of my stickers from Happy Planner to kind of like show some of the spaces that I feel like we've been at um, or something, you know, that would have like the same kind of feel. We do still have one, actually I need to fill in my Tokyo prompt because I did that. Um, we have at least one more um, city that we're going to and then Brie has been talking about adding in something spicy at the end. So um, that is my reading planner for August. Again, normally I go over those with you guys, but I didn't, uh, I was not prepared. Okay. So for the month of September, I didn't even write September on here anywhere. We're going to need to do that. Um, for the month of September, I am using the Pastel Ghosts sticker set from Planning with Kay. They are so cute. I'm so happy with these. In love. Um, as you know, I don't do a cover page. I just go straight to this page. Um, which I use as a cover page. My calendar page, my monthly overview is kind of a calendar page, but I didn't, I didn't put a September on there. So when we're done, I'll probably put it over here. I might put it over here. I don't know, but this will say September somewhere. Okay. I have switched up the way that I'm doing my weeklies, just a smidge. So um, this is actually more of what I had in my happy planner, just flip-flopped. I don't know. I intended to put this over here and this over here, but when I was drawing it, I just did it completely wrong. I don't know why. I just did. Okay. Okay a day for each day of the week to keep track of anything that I've got going on specifically. Um, anything that has to happen on a particular day can be put on here. And then a spot for my YouTube schedule because I'm really having a hard time keeping track of what I'm supposed to be doing for my YouTube schedule. And then over on this side, I have just like a decoration page, which I think is what I've been missing with this other um, layout. I feel like it's just, it's not plain, but it's not as fun. And I wanted something more decorative for this month. So I have a decoration space and I have a spot for hex library tasks, a place for storytellers hearth tasks because it's almost that time again, and a couple of other spaces for some other branding things that I um, possibly am working on for the month. So those spaces are here as well. Um, and then I haven't done any of the other months because I or the other weeks because I want to see how well this week does for me before I continue doing the weeks. Um, so I have four empty pages for the weeks. And then again, I did the same setup for my monthlies. I have um, the reading with just these gorgeous stickers from Planning with Kay. Um, I'll fill in my new releases, my backlist arcs I need to get to, and my haul for the month. My TBR, my group and challenge TBR as always. Um, books that I've read, I'm adding an unhaul and DNF section because I have been utilizing that the last couple of months and I've just been kind of like adding it in at the bottom of my red. So I might as well put in a spot for it. Um, a spread for the Summer Scare Readathon with my reading prompts, my Instagram prompts. If you want to know more about the Summer Scare Readathon, I will link you to the announcement video for that. And then this page is going to be for the Pick Pongathon, which is being hosted by Crystal at Bond Book Reviews. And if you want to know more about that, I will link you to that down below. And then that is it for this month. There is nothing left. Just a really quick go through of what I am looking at doing for this month. Um, again, at the end of the month, we'll go over and see how I really felt about this style. But that is all I have for today. Um, if you got made it this far in the video, leave me a ghosty emoji down below for obvious reasons. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!